Hey kids, flexing teacher Weber again. Um, gonna go through example three and example four on the notes on solving multi-step equations that have division in them. So I'm gonna flip my board over to um, question three. It was negative four equals three plus k divided by seven. Everything's done exactly the same here except the variable is on the other side of the equal sign. And we wanna try to keep it there. So we find the side of the equal sign that has the variable. We start with the add subtract first. Now beside that variable, there's a plus three. We know it's a plus three because there's no sign in front of it. The opposite of plus three, minus three. Uh, if I do it to that side of the equal sign, I have to do it to the other side of the equal sign. Negative four minus three. Total up what's left and keep everything exactly where it is. Negative four, negative three adds up to negative seven. 3 minus 3 goes away. And I'm left with a plus k over 7. Now, because it's a plus k, I don't need to write the plus sign there. So I'm just going to write equals k divided by 7. And always remember, it doesn't matter, but just so you know, even though we don't see it, there's a 1 in front of that k. Now, it's k divided by 7. To finish solving this equation, we multiply both sides of the equation by the opposite of divide by seven. So the opposite of divide by seven is to multiply by seven. We do that beside the variable and we use parentheses to show that multiplication. If I do it on that side, I gotta do it to the other side. The parentheses are really important here. It's negative seven multiplied by positive seven. Keep working down the page. This is negative 49 equals the 7 divided by 7 cancels off, and I'm left with 1k. Or I can just write that as negative 49 equals k. It's the same sort of steps every time, right? There's just little, uh, little things that are thrown in that can sometimes throw us off. Like in the last example, number 4. 5 equals 2 minus n divided by 4. Okay, well, the side of the variable... The side of the equal sign that has the variable is this side, there's the n, but I do the reverse of order of operations, I do the add subtract first. Beside that n, it's not a minus two, it's a plus two, there's no sign in front of that two, so it's a plus two. So to make that plus two go away, I do minus two there, and I do minus two on the other side to keep everything balanced. Total up what's left, five minus two is three. Two minus two goes away, but I'm left with a negative. I can't just forget about that negative sign. Negative n over four. Now remember, even though we don't see it, in front of that n, there's a one. So I can think of that as negative one n. Now I have divide by four. The opposite of divide by four times by four. Do it on that side, gotta do it to the other side. Total up what's left. 4 times 3, 12. Equals 4 divided by 4 goes away, and I'm left with negative 1 multiplied by n. I can't just leave that as negative 1 multiplied by n. So, the opposite of multiply by negative 1 is to divide by negative 1. And since I do it there, I have to do it there. That leaves me with negative 12 equals positive 1n. Or I can just leave it as negative 12 equals n. They both mean the same thing. Hopefully that's going to get you through your assignment today. I'm going to give you some questions that practice this. Uh, remember, it's still just for practice. We're not doing any tests yet. Um, so just keep practicing, looking at the notes, looking at these videos, and then we'll correct it in, uh, coming up soon. Flexing Teacher Weber, out.